in the first reading, the Queen of Sheba looking for wisdom. What are we looking for? Wisdom or something else? That's what the gospel is about. The clean and the unclean. The outside and the inside. How much do we care for the outside? How do I look? Do I look all right? When you look at somebody, you always, from head to foot, you check. Oh, those shoes need some polishing. Our eyes are very sharp. We, we observe everything about a person, from head to foot, the face and the dress and the shoes, everything. We very much, very keen to look at every detail, the outside. And we spend so much time for the outside too. About our makeup and our, how I look, how do I look like, what do they think about me, am I all right? Of course we have to look decent and nice. But we can be too focused on the outside. Image, impressions, to impress others. To play to the gallery, to try to impress others by the way you look and you do. Meaningless. A life on the outside, you may not have any depth inside. A life on the outside, always trying to please others, to impress others. A very shallow, meaningless, empty life. The Lord says, check your inside. Check your inside, your heart, your thoughts, your attitudes. You may look outside low, so lovely, with the perfume, you may smell very good, but you may have some stinging, stinging, stinging attitudes. Horrible attitudes. Terrible attitudes. Let me give a new definition for bad thoughts. These are according to Father Olhais. What are the really bad thoughts? They have nothing to do with the sex. These are the bad thoughts. When you go to confession, remember, these are the really bad thoughts. The Lord is speaking about that. The bad thoughts are jealousy, envy, greed. Never be happy with what you have. Greed. Hatred, hatred, unforgiveness, resentment, anger, oh, those are the list of bad thoughts. So when you go to confession, you mention, these are, I have these bad thoughts. Nothing to do with the sex, only these are the, the bad thoughts. Oh, have some anger issue, jealousy, envy, greed, unforgiveness. I can't forgive that. Oh, unfor oh, terrible sin, terrible bad thought. You have to go to confession. These are the really, really bad, bad, filthy thoughts. So check these thoughts when you come to the Lord or go to confession. These are the really, really bad thoughts, ugly thoughts, obscene thoughts, unforgiveness, oh, really bad. Jealousy, no, bad. Oh, check these bad thoughts. Now, how to cleanse your soul from these thoughts? You may remember the Last Supper. Jesus said, you have been cleansed by the word I have spoken to you. You have been cleansed, washed clean, made clean by the word I have spoken to you. The word of God can cleanse you. That's why you listen to the word of God, then you check your soul. No, I haven't got it. Oh, I should have that. The more you listen to the word of God, your heart will be clean. As we heard in the entrance hymn, more of God's love, more of God's forgiveness. Oh, the thoughts I have, they are not really good. No, I need the thoughts of love, forgiveness, compassion, and mercy. Every time you listen to the word of God, 
your heart is made clean.